Sorry, cross board. Surface area and volume of spheres. Surface area and volume of spheres. Let's draw a sphere. Oh my god. Big circle. A sphere. Surface area and volume of spheres. And now I'll do a little belt, maybe like a, an equator, if you will. Ecuador. Yes. That would be accentuating different words to turn it into the country. <laughs> so now we're doing volume of spheres? Surface area and volume. Okay. Start with surface area. How long, how long you draw perfect circles. For? It's crazy. A while, but we've been doing. We've been banging them out. We've been doing basically. You never realize when we draw circles. You always draw a circle. You go. Yeah, yeah. I want to make sure I'm not doubting myself at the very end. You go like this, and you go like. You like when you're like drawing on the board. You're like. You like. Whoosh. And I just yeah, like, I just whoosh accentuate off. the end. Yeah, yeah you're like. Whoosh. And it's like you're like. Whoosh. And it's like. That's been my experience. Whoosh. When you draw a circle, you just gotta commit. You just gotta go for it. Whoosh. Here's my question. Think of wind. I know you know the area of a circle. What's the area of a circle? Put it over here. A equals yeah. well, pi r squared. Correct. So now, that's the area of this internal circle here. Notice there's infinite circles we could draw inside this that are pi r squared as well. Let's go ahead and even put the r here. Let's put our friend 3 again. Now here's my question to you. I want you to hold up with your fingers. That's my number. How many, if you were to pull out this circle, how many could you sort of tape or stick around the entire sphere? How many circles would fit around the entire sphere? Three. So hold up with your fingers. Let's everyone get a chance to think. You got three as a guess. Three as a guess. You're still thinking? Still oh, thinking? yeah, yeah. Still thinking? How many do you think? It's possible it's three. Is it a number that you can actually hold up with your fingers? Yes, it is. It is. So it's no game. No game. So no it's tricks. zero through ten. Yeah, we'll confirm it's zero through ten. Okay. Yeah. How many? Because that will be the formula for the surface area of the entire thing. Basically, it's that number pi r squared. It's the number of circles you could fit around the entire ball. That number will go right here, and that's the formula. Isn't that interesting? It is. That number is going to go right here. Is it this? No. So it's not six. Is I will it confirm this? it's not three. It's not three. Is this it? It's not nine. Good guess. Is, is it? It's not that. Yes. You got one. Yeah. It's almost like a trick question like this, like it's only this. No, there's not one. Think about it. If I were to pull, can you imagine if I pulled this circle out mm -hmm. and I taped it onto you the You have like a tray. You have like a tray. Yeah. And I, and I glued it on that I would still have a lot of the sphere exposed. Does that make sense? That's a, yeah, I How think, would they fit perfectly on there? Good, figure out the, understand perfectly. How many would fit around perfectly? Generally speaking, you, it wouldn't actually fit perfectly. Yeah. You'd have to like, they, you'd have overlap. So it's just yeah. the amount of space, I'm saying. It's okay. the amount of space total. That's just a way to visualize. Cut up, yeah, to visualize. Indeed, it's four. It's four. How do we figure that out? It's just truth. It's truth. The number of circles that fit around the entire sphere is equivalent to four of these areas. But how do we know? How do we know that's for sure? How do we prove The that? way to do that would be to create a sphere, find the area of that sphere. How do we do that? Measure with a piece of, with a tape or a ruler, um. right? And then we would get that total, let's say, what would the area of this sphere be? Or excuse me, this circle. It'd be 9 pi. 9 pi. So basically what you'd have to do is pi 3 squared is 9 pi. You do 9 times 3.14, maybe like 30 or so, around 30. And then you would see how many, um, if you could take that and like get a circle that's 9 pi in area or 30 units squared and just glue it on top and see if you get roughly 4. Generally, you have overlap, though, because you have circle and circle and circle. There would be gaps, mm -hmm. but you get the feel for it. That's, that's the best that can answer you. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's, it's like two is too few, five is too many. So it's just kind of like guessing, kind of? No, it's just truth. But, or you can experiment and see that that's what it is. Okay. You can visualize that four of these circles will go around the entire thing. Okay. What's the total surface area of this sphere?
Good morning. Hey, dude. Come on in. <laughs> this is your class. I like your salmon color t-shirt. Me too. Nine cool. by. It's pretty flat. Times. Nine times four. Makes. Uh, Thirty-six pi. pi. Units cubed. I'm coming. Yeah. Questions? It's basically four circles. Four circles makes the area of the entire face. We'll do one more problem. Do the volume of this deck. Do the volume. Volume equals. Now, this one is harder to visualize because you have pi. It's how much air you could fit into a basket. The, or yes, or something air inside. Like. It's the space inside. It's the amount of sand. It's the amount of water that can fit inside the ball would be the volume, okay? Do you understand the difference between surface areas? The outside face? Oh, yeah. Volume is the space inside. So we have pi r cubed here. We need this coefficient. This one is going to be harder to explain without using calculus, but this is pretty much how the formula goes. I think it's best if we leave the formula as it is, right? And that we get the volume of this sphere using this formula. And pretty much we're done with this. Four thirds, pi. What goes here? Three. 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 What is three cubed? Nine. Wait, no, 27. 27 is correct. Do you agree we have cancellation policy? Oh. What do we get? We get, no, no kidding. Uh, what does this become? Nine. nine. Oh, I was right. And this becomes that. So that becomes nine. Multiply through and we get? 36 pi. 36 pi is the what of this sphere? The volume. The volume, centimeters. It's the same as the surface area. Is that a coincidence? Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's an interesting. Yeah, that is a coincidence. That's the border which they're the same. Oh. Okay, now, uh, fun facts. Fun facts. What is the volume of blue? A hemisphere. What's the volume of this thing? It looks like an eye. Would you just take the curve, the volume we have now and divide that by It's like a wax. I love when students use the word just. Yes, that's all you do. That's right. So the volume of the whole thing is 36. Half of it. So volume. So hemisphere. That's just 18 pi, basically. Yeah. Hemish. Hemish. Yeah. Hemisphere is 18 pi. That's true. Very nice. English hemish. That's a good fun fact. Next fun fact. What is, this will mess with you, this is the last question of the day actually. What is the Whoa. surface area of this hemisphere? The surface area of this hemisphere. Mm. Which is kind of interesting. I really like this question. What kind of shape is that? It looks like, it looks like it'd be half. Is it like kind of like a, a bowl? bowl? Like. Yeah, it's like a bowl, I guess, but it's a spherical bowl. A bowl, okay, a bowl. Like a circle bowl. Yeah. Okay. And you want the total surface area. A bowl. Now, do you, do you agree that we did surface area a second ago of the entire um, sphere? You recall what it was? So, surface area of the whole sphere was 4 pi r squared. Again, formulas will be provided, so don't sweat it. Oh, thank God. 4 pi, I know, it's a lot, it's a lot. So it's yeah. using them, using them appropriately. 3 squared, this is 4 pi times nine. This is 36 pi, was the whole thing. What is the surface area of this outside shape over here? The bottom of the bowl. What is it? Uh, say it again. What is the surface area? It's 36 pi is the surface area of the entire sphere. Okay. What's the surface area of the bottom half? How will we find that out? Oh. We just did it before. So it's 18 the it is 18 pi. pi. That's right. Now look, here's the issue, though, friends. How do we know it's exactly half the sort of the sphere? Because a hemisphere means half. The so sphere. it will tell us that, that it's a hemisphere. Or it will look like a hemisphere. So it's to scale. Or it's it just no. It, half of it appears like half. If it appears like half, it's half. Okay. This is 18 pi. Now here's the issue, you guys. When you slice open the sphere, you create an additional face. 
So the surface area is not done. The surface area of the blue stuff is 18 pi. The surface area of the blue stuff is 18 pi, but we haven't done the surface area of this top face yet. It's interesting, right? If you cut it open, I'm going to come, I'm going to come. We're almost done. If you cut it open, yes, you have the surface area of the outside, but you created a new face. So we have to add the area of this to the 18 pi. Pi or square. Yes, that's right. And what is the area of this face? 9 pi. 9 pi. Put it down. 9 pi. Because that's a circle. It is. So it's it a normal area of a circle. Correct. Correct. Gotcha. So it's 9 pi plus 36 pi plus 18 pi. No. 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 That, that's, that, you're talking about. You're oh, wait, talking no, about no, no, no. Say it again. It's 18 plus 9 m minus, or 36 minus 18 plus 9 pi. I think you're overcomplicating it in a way. Wait, What's 18? the area of the outside bowl, the blue? 18 pi. What's the area of the top it's face? 36 pi minus 27 pi. It's 36 20, is no longer. It's 27 pi. It's 27 pi. We're trying to find the. Surface area is the bottom part, right? And the top, together. The oh, I thought we were supposed to subtract it from the whole thing. Like it's like we already divided this in half. This was the whole thing. The whole thing we, we cut open. So we have 18 as the bottom. We removed the top, threw it aside. Okay, so we have 18 as the bottom. Created a new face when we opened this thing. New face of 9 pi. So actually, the surface area of the hemisphere... Hemish. Hemish. <laughs> Equals, what was it? Just leave it. 27 pi. 27 pi. Unit, or centimeters cubed. Follow up question on that? Does that make sense to you? I kind of came in late. Okay, you came in late. Okay. We create a new face when you open a hemisphere. That's the idea. Is that okay? Perfect. Yeah, you got it. Yours are warriors. Okay, give yourselves a flap. Give yourselves a flap. We're done? Flap it up, yeah. Flap it up. Well, you have, wow, that much energy. <laughs> what about this one?